Hello there, I proudly welcome you to this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how our print of sale application that you can get for your shop, your supermarket, any wholesale or retail business works. So let us delve into uh, the software's demo and see how it works. After the demonstration, if you'd like to get it for your shop, supermarket, or get a setup for any of your business, kindly check down the description below for my email address and let us have a chat. Okay, so I will double click the software. So here we give it some time to load. So now we are being presented with this window. Inside this window, you have the option to log in as a manager, a salesperson, employee, or staff. Okay, so I will log in as a manager and get things started. You will click in here. Now, once you click down this pull down icon, you see all users that have been registered by the administrator as managers. I'll select myself. I'll press the tab key. Now you type in your password. You hit go. Password incorrect. Let me change it. So welcome smiler. Signifying the success of our login. Here we choose retail. So now we have this beautiful dashboard for the software. There's the manager's window. So here now I will go to my drugs. That is all the drugs or items that I have in the system. So currently it is showing that I have 846 items. I can click in here and search for any of the items. Okay. So to add a product to to add a product to the system, you click add, you type in the product's name. So let's say para2 is a sale item if you have any description you type in here the batch number now this is a single type product it is not a pack type so all so the pack fields are locked you can click here to upload a, pro, a, a product icon once you're done you save it and now 847 items we have so once you're done you go to stock and inside here you stock the products so para 2 units let's say is 1 city 90 you can type in your expiry dates let's say 12 June 22 sorry 2022 I'll refresh and now quantity is 90 because we just, we just added 90 quantity we just updated the quantity of added 90 stock now so when a salesperson is logged in what's what what must be the sell uh, the selling price of para 2 or the product that we just added so let's say it's supposed to be 1.5 you refresh so whichever salesperson that logs in will see this as a as soon as you select this you see this at amount here as the price okay so now we can synchronize and you can come to the far right corner here and search for para 2 okay so now we can once that we have the product we've added a product to stock now that we know how to add a product let us go to sale or order if someone comes in to buy item so this is a sale window for new sale you go to new so let me search for a product para para 2 so no description let's say quantity 2 so our quantity available since I've not saved it is 90 that's what we added and the price has automatically come subtotal for the sale is 3 series so now you move in here is there any discount if there is no discount you type in the amount the person is paying and now once you're done you choose your customer so let me select your menu 
our add to cart. Now still completed, so it has been added to the cart here. Let us add one more. Then say this quantity, let's say two. So the same your menu. So now the, these are the items that we've added to the cart here. So let's view the cart properly. You can proceed to print the receipts if the card is okay. So this receipts prints over a thermal row. And once you get a copy of the software, it comes with a thermal row printer. You can also generate an invoice here. So now a very important thing, how do you view your sales data? You go to sales data here. So you can display your sales data by month, by date. You want to see all sales that you've made in a day. You simply click it, then you see the sales. If you want to see that of another date, you click it. Monthly, you click it, then you see all the monthly sales. So this is a sale, monthly sale reporting. In here, you see all, all the system gives you a view of your profits as well. You can also view your yearly sales. Now, once you click in here, you can, it helps you to migrate the data from the confinement of Microsoft Access into Microsoft Excel, and it's very, very simple. Okay. So, now how do you add customers? You go to customers, you type in, so let's add a new customer. So, Esther. Don't call female. You can proceed to fill all this. Region is very important. I will refresh, I will save it. So now Esther has been added to our active customer list here. So let's check in here expired drugs to know the product that are expiring. So months left, these stocks will soon be expiring. Some have even expired, so these are expired. These drugs have all expired. Minus means that they are expired for about six months, seven months. So the administrator will have to get rid of these stocks in the database. Then all stocks and the expiry. So let's see available drugs or available stock. So paracetamol currently we have 62. G plus we have zero contrast we have 17 we have so projection also so this so projection gives you an overview of the expected sale so you scroll down and now so all stocks will amount to 35,250 should you sell everything that is a power of us one of the powerful features that we have in our system now also have customer in and customer exits. So if a customer comes in, you register the in. So let's say a customer comes, or it can be any other person who knows who is not necessarily a customer. As the Amwa telephone. So let's say marketing. Now you, you click here. Visitor checked in successfully. So. If he or she is about leaving, you click here, checkouts, checkouts now, and now the status has changed. So that is about that is a very small presentation about the check-in checkouts. You can also view your accounts, your dashboard to see a summary of your data. You can use a spiral checker here, like you've, you've used you've used it already. And now we have security setting here. So if you want to perform some security settings, change username, change passwords, and a whole, you log in to that, that side. So now here you are here. 
you can edit your account prints and do a whole lot you can click here to rest you want to come back you provide your credentials as required okay so this is a very quick demo about this simple post system which is this is a pharmacy version of it now if you'd like to i mean if you'd like to inquire more into this or about this you check uh, down the description for our contact details you contact us and let's have a chat thank you very much if you have any other question you can put it if you don't mind put it in the comment section and i'll come down to reply you thanks for watching see you in the next video bye